In this video, we're gonna be talking about FDA approved tests. I run a cap lab and I'm gonna be talking to you about how we get these tests up and running. non clia waived FDA approved test. It's still pretty rigorous. I did a video uh, on LDT testing already. If you wanna watch that, that's gonna tell you all the things you need to do. The non clia waived FDA approved test, you pretty much have to do almost as much. It's a little bit less work. The couple of things you don't have to do, uh, you don't have to do sensitivity, so you don't really have to establish your LODs, and you also don't have to do uh, specificity. Where you have to do a lot less work if you're running a CLIA wave test. In that sense, you just have to run the IFU. Of course, you need it to get approved by your lab director, but you don't have to do nearly as rigorous of a validation. It's pretty much ready to go out of the box. It is smart to still do um, some proficiency testings. You might wanna throw your controls on there and make sure they it's repeatable and you're getting the same values back. And of course, for all of these, you still have to do your proficiency testing. So you might want to get proficiency test. Uh, we use API, you could use whoever, but you order a proficiency test, it comes in, they're like blind samples, you run them, if the values come back correctly, then, then you're in good shape. So that's all I have to say about FDA approved test. It's gonna be pretty quick and easy. If you're working in a clear cap lab, you, you, you wanna subscribe because we have a lot more videos on the way, or you can go ahead and pay consultants tens of thousands of dollars, your choice, whatever, whatever you wanna do.